Welcome back to MCOC Al Bundy Rules. I have got a tutorial for you on Black Widow Clairvoyant. First, I want to be starting along with the ability, starting with something simple on her passive basic attacks, causing them to deal energy damage instead of physical. So this could be good where you're punished for using physical certain thorn nodes or champs with high levels of physical resistance. So she is doing energy damage instead of physical, starting off nice and easy on one of my personal favorite champs, especially for those who run suicide masteries. Now let's look at our clairvoyance charges. So she starts with three charges. We'll see those little purple thingies up top. Each time she or her opponent are immune to any effect, she gains one charge and 4% of max power up to 20. 20 is the max stack. After landing or receiving ladder medium attack and the opponent has one or more buff, it's consumed and a buff is nullified. So those charges are good for really a couple things. One, to nullify buffs. When I nullify a buff, you will see one go down. Additionally, they are gonna be good for death touch, which I'm gonna talk about a little bit later in the video. You can get them really easy against different champs, especially those with immunity. I'm going to cover that a little bit more later in the video. I'll also explain a little bit more later. We'll see the nullifications going on there. We saw how it went down multiple there. We're going to also see, you see how they go down and you see how those regenerations in this case are nullified. So that's why those charges are good. It really helps you deal with those buff heavy champs. That's one way to deal with buff heavy champs. And we're going to see again as it gets nullified there. They're also going to be a little underappreciated part of of her um, special three ability, which we'll talk about in a bit. So here we see the Curse of Black Widow. She has three types of curses. So rotating, you end the attack on a light. So you can do a medium and four lights, and it will switch to the next way. If you end on a medium, it stays on that current curse. So there's Curse of Bleed, which gives her bleed immunity, Curse of Plague, which gives her poison immunity, and Curse of Hellfire, incinerate immunity. Look up top. So that one is Curse of Hellfire. It goes bleed, poison, incinerate immunity. When entering a new curse, any incinerate any of the uh, debuffs are purified and grant one clairvoyance charge along the way. So as you rotate through, you can get immunity only one at a time, but you can rotate through immunity. So using there to switch out. So we'll see I'm on the bleed one right there, but I got some poison. So I ended on a fourth light, did four light attacks. It switched to the poison immunity. Human immunity and it took off the poisons along the way so you can keep rotating through it just takes a little tiny bit of practice of switching between the three stances and or curses they're called with her to get some great immunity you get some benefits on each of those curses as well Finishing a combo with a medium attack inflicts one. So you finish the combo with a medium, you will get one of those as we see. Throw in a heavy or a special one inflicts three of these debuffs. So, and with the medium, you get one, a special one, or a heavy, you get three unto those um, immunities. We see Curse of Blood. Bleed, deal bleed damage so when you're on the first one the bloody will do bleed in addition to being immune to bleed when you're immune to poison you will do poison damage which reduces health recovery by 30 percent i'll show that in a bit and um, then you can get incinerate as well which can give you some better burst damage now we're looking at the special one she actually doesn't have a description for her special one and her ability surprisingly enough but in curse damnation you will see special one inflicts up to three debuffs these debuffs are determined by the active curse and last eight seconds so it could be three bleed three poison or three incinerate based on her current curse right now it's going to be bleed based on the curse i am on as we see those little red dots up there if i do a fourth light to switch it it will switch special two is going to be one of her bread and butters for her and even if you run recoil, it's okay with her. 100% chance to inflict opponent with buff immunity for 10 seconds, so meaning they can't get the buffs, it decreases against science. Each hit grants an effect determined by Claire's active curses. So Curse of Blood, regenerate 35% of damage dealt, makes her extremely, extremely sustainable. Curse of Plague, steal power, so she gets some power steal ability. And Curse of Hellfire, deal that burst damage. So if you need to heal up, be on Curse of Blood. You need to steal or control power, be on Curse of Plague. If you just want to do more damage, burst damage, be on Curse of Hellfire. You can switch what she's going to shine at each fight and along the fight multiple times as you need.
So you get those extra abilities along with the immunity. So it just takes a little bit of practice of getting used to her. She's actually a really simple champ, but it just takes a tiny bit of getting acclimated to to really get the best out of her. Special three, all those clairvoyance charges I was showing, five right now up top, the purple one, each increase her attack rating during this attack by 577. So the more you got, the more attack rating you get. She gains death touch last for 1.2 seconds per charge. So the more you got, the longer it lasts. This increases potency of all effects, cursed effects by 100%. It is not affected by ability accuracy. So again, why you want to have the more of those as possible when you launch the S3. And I'm going to show you more on that up in the tips section coming on up. Here her signature ability. Underrated, I'm going to show more of this coming up. When receiving damage that will knock her out, death touch is removed. So it takes away death touch and she gains death immunity buff instead. Prevents her death and healing 25.07% of her max health over 4 seconds. We will see that 25% is going to be scalable based on SIG ability. So this is her... SIG ability. A lot of people think this is a useless or not very good ability. It's absolutely not mandatory. If you don't have her awoken, she's extremely good. I have her as an R3 6 star, unawoken, amazing, but I also have her as an R5 5 star, awoke. It's an actually a very underappreciated ability, as we're going to see here. It can save you if you time it correctly. And I'm going to show a little bit more on this in the tip section, too, as you can use this ability and follow it up with S2s to heal back up easily. So we're going to see that death immunity right there. Instead of getting knocked out, I get that second life, and I got all this extra health. And you see how I timed it with that S2 to get even more health along with that. Now let's look at the synergies. Reduce duration with ghost. Rider debuffs of opponent buffs by 30% can be nice. On buff heavy champs, a spell a day keeps a doctor away. Final hit of S2, 50% chance to inflict stun for two seconds. Another one can be somewhat useful. Here, whenever the opponent is immune to incinerate, they're inflicted with slow. So that could be very useful, which slow, of course, is going to prevent the effects of evade and unstoppable. So on those incinerate champs, especially on certain nodes, could be useful. Black Widow here, while Death Touch is active, reduce the opponent's chance of triggering their abilities by 50%. Another fairly useful synergy can be used as needed. Here we have Guilty Souls, 10% attack rating when fighting against villain opponents, and then teammates, 5% perfect block chance. Now let's go into tips for you. Some tips I have for using here. Tip one, maximize utility by rotating between curses based on immediate needs. She's got the three, Curse of Plague, Curse of Hellfire, remember it goes from along the way. They're one, each one gains something be beneficial between an immunity and an extra benefit. Gain attack immunity, remove debuffs on bleed, poison, incinerate, watch those go away. You saw how those poisons went away when I switched to Plague. So if I got it a debuff, I can switch to either be immune to it or remove them. You can regenerate steel power or do burst damage in addition to those immunities. So we could do the regeneration here. We see that life still going on based on, on the bleed immunity phase right there. I can steal power based on the curse of Plague when I launch that S2. So on tip two, use on buff heavy champion nodes. You see how those keep getting nullified along the way. Someone like Venom who's doing buffs out the wazoo, you can just easily nullify them. When you do your special twos, you can also do buff immunity. So between the nullifies, as we'll see here, between the buff immunity, you can really lock down those buff champs here on this infamously heavy regeneration Wolverine and ROL. In addition to those, you can also stack poisons because you get 30% reduced healing on poison. So even if I'm not nullifying, even if I'm not having the buff immunity active, I can just keep stacking poisons and he's not going to be able to do a whole lot of anything here, making this high regeneration fight extremely easy. She's an extremely underrated, amazing counter for regeneration heavy champs. And of course, really any buff heavy champ along the way. We'll see her pretty much decimate that. Tip three. Switch curse to easily gain charges when defenders immune to debuff. You actually want to use her curse that against the immunity. So curse black bolt is poison immune. I want to use her curse of plague against him. You see those immune right there? I am getting three charges each time there, and I'm gaining massive power much quicker like that. So curse of blood here. He is thing is bleed immunity and this abyss. 
thing. So I'm doing heavies against him. Watch heavies with debuff that they're immune to. You see how quick I got those up three per each, and you see how quick I got my power up along the way as well. You can exploit there. She's one of the few champs that actually exploits the what they are immune to. Tip four, awaken ability when used right is underrated gem. It's not mandatory. She's not awoke. She's still absolutely amazing. But if she is awoke, please don't think it's a useless ability. As many people say, it is extremely useful. I'm going to purposely take a pummeling here as I got the death touch active and had an extra S3. I wanted to not have any power. I got the power back up so quick after an S3. I'm going to let his S3 go. Once my power back, I'm going to do another S3 because after I get my death immunity, I want to piggyback. I want to switch stances to bleed and I want to follow it off. So we see the bleed immunity up there. We see I'm healing. Remember, this clear he heals about 25% after the death immunity. So I took a pounding, which would have normally knocked her out. I got the death immunity. So instead of going down to zero, we're going to see me start healing up. I switched to the bleed stance and now I'm going to launch an S2. So in addition to that heal I just got, I just healed myself all the way back up. And now guess what? Instead of KO, I healed up that 25% from that death touch changed to death immunity I piggybacked an S2 on it that got my health up and now I'm going to keep on this bleed curse of bleed and I'm going to keep launching S2s and that is going to get my health you see I went from what should have been a zero knockout all the way back up to 50% and I can easily by keep spamming S2s especially taking advantage of his bleed immunity I can easily keep spamming S2s with the power gain and get my health as high up as I want and maintain the rest of the five very simply Tip five, quick little tip, suicide masteries are exceptionally good. She's probably at least in my top couple favorite suicide champs in the game. Mastery setup without a doubt. Hoping you enjoy this, click on the top left icon to subscribe to MCOC All Bundy Rules. Turn those notifications on. Remember, I got something for everyone from champ tutorials to walkthroughs, tips and tricks. You name it, I got it for you. Thanks so much for watching.